Hey everyone, Lyle here, Bucks Gearbox, and I'm excited on this rainy Saturday morning. It's about 9.25, and I am headed down to River's Edge Cutlery for their meetup, knife geek gathering, hanging out with people. The last time I went to this, I was kind of blown away by some, uh, some of the awesome collections. I'm excited to go uh, hang out with some like-minded friends and uh, see my buddies at REC. It's a rainy day, but it's going to be a great day. I'm going to get some video. Enough rambling. See you guys. Just want to interrupt the video and I uh, need to let you know a couple of things. One, my camera was on a weird setting and it didn't play well with the lighting in the showroom. And so I got these weird uh, bars that are moving up and down. I'm learning how to do photography, but still got a lot to learn. Just wanted to warn you in case you're sensitive to that kind of thing, because it does, like it's super annoying for me, but it might actually be something that people who are photo sensitive uh, might not want to to watch so I had to leave it in because I couldn't fix it in post I have a lot of cool interviews with people that I didn't want to lose so kind of go against my Perfectionism a little bit and go ahead and release the video, but I just wanted to give you a warning about that All right, Here we are Here's that scutlery full parking lot with a meet up one side and see what's happening. So this is my first uh, REC shop tour since they've been in the new facility and so I'm gonna just wander around and uh, show you all the stuff they got check it out some pretty cool stuff here some knife maintenance area and then over to your right is like kitchen kitchen and like uh, you know beard care manly stuff which is awesome of course the big showroom so let's go over here all kinds of cool things to keep your knife collection organized, keep your knives clean, sharp. Oh, there's the new gunny spray. I'm gonna have to get some of that today. Yep, for sure. That'll clean anything, apparently. Not just knives. All kinds of ways to uh, store your gear here. Sweet. You can get a look into the uh, maintenance area. If you bring some knives in to sharpen, this is where they'll go. Got some really pro sharpeners around here. And come over here, the tune-up station. This is awesome. Want to sharpen a knife? Want to try out a new sharpening system or one that you don't have? Yeah, we got all this. Here's the brand new Work Sharp Professional Precision Adjust. That's pretty sweet. Shout out to my buddy, Anthony Awaken. Check him out on Instagram. An amazing artisan and backcountry expert.
go upstairs and see who's up here. Hello, hello. Hi. How's it going? Oh, just hanging out. Good, good. What's your name? I'm Chris. Chris, nice to meet you. I'm Lyle. I do the Bucks Gearbox on oh, YouTube. Okay. And uh, you mind if I take a shot go of your Go right collection? ahead. Yeah. Take it all in. awesome, man. You have any stories to tell about it or anything? Not a whole lot. And you're a pro tech guy. Love a it. little bit. I love it. Learning them. I see lots of avocados there. Uh, yeah. I got a few of those. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the collection's grown a little bit in the last, uh, we'll call it a year. Yeah? A That's awesome, bit. man. Been fun. Good people here. Oh, this is my favorite place. Absolutely. I mean, everybody likes the Minion Knife. I mean, that's, Dude, yes. that's the popular one. That is super cool. I love it. They did great work with it. Yeah. It's so that, that was done here? Yeah. Oh, man, he's so good. <laughs> great work. Good job, Eric. All you guys. Great, great work. That's sweet, man. Thanks for letting me see it. Of course. It. Super cool. Oh, you got the, the Riot, the crazy, mm -hmm. crazy thing. That's awesome. What's your favorite knife in your collection? You think? I carry the minion one the most. Okay, that's sweet, man. Just because it's funny. It's so unique, too. I love it. It's so funny. You can't go wrong with Spider Co. No. You can. All right, man. Thank you very much. Of course. All right, we've got another collection here. Let me shake your hand. What's your name? Jared. Jared? Show us your collection here, man. Well, it's not so much of a collection. It's kind of some stuff that I brought with me to oh, nice. dump off. Fire but, uh, sale. Sweet. There's a. Uh, Couple I'm carrying today. Yeah, pocket dump time. You're my first pocket dump. <laughs> oh, dude, that's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, very cool. LBS, and that's from Great. Very, very nice. Thanks, man. This is sweet. Somebody come buy his stuff. All right, pocket dump time. Riley, actually, Riley, yeah. you, you'll be my, my first. <laughs> All right, today we've got the Spartan Parsi Design Babe. Oh, yes. Let me make sure I'm focused. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yep. This thing's been used and abused. Uh -huh. Still putting it putting it to work. You're a pretty big Spartan fan. I remember that from video. I, got, I have two of them. I've got the Babe, and I've also got the Fur Tree. You do? Oh, I remember the Fur Tree. I yeah. remember that from the video. I have two of the Plain Janes. Nice. Them. That's all. All right, Doug, you're next. All right. Today I got the old uh, Protec TR5 Sapphire. Dude, I have mine in the car. That's my baby. That's my favorite Protec. I love it. I love it. That was a huge, huge day in my yeah. life when you told me about yep. it. Sweet, man. It just shines. Yeah. I love that. Dude. I still haven't done a video overview of mine yet. So I need to do that. What else you got? Anything else? I got one more. All right. Got the, uh, the Danger Banana. Danger Banana. Yeah. Look at that. That is sweet. Oh my goodness. I get to flip it over. Oh yeah. <laughs> a little copyright violation. <laughs> may as well do them all while you're here. Well, first of all, you got a camera in one hand. Dude. That's awesome, man. Man. I'm doubling it today. Wait, you had a it's my dad's. Oh yeah, I was carrying that yesterday. Sweet. Man. It's my dad's deck. It needs sharpened. Oh, it does. What you got? Nice. We definitely have our share of Spider Co fans yes. in the building for sure. And another one. I think oh, I and the, and the tactile. I canceled my. Uh, oh, that's sweet. Is that the Overland? Uh, no, it's Reset. the uh, the new one. Uh, What's eight, it called? eight bit seasonal release. Eight bit. Sweet. That's awesome. Get in on this? Oh, yeah. Pocket dump time? Yep. You need Let's see table. what you got. Some 15V action. All right. Oh, Custom that's shop nice. tumbled scales on it. That is beautiful. I love 15V. Yep. I got the, uh, I got the Manix. 15V Manix. With a yeah, blasted finish Manics from the custom here. shop. That's awesome, man. Very cool. And there's more. Oh, yeah. Got to have <laughs> my ProTech. I am also a ProTech fan. That is beautiful. Very nice. Cool, man. Thank you. A wide angle lens. Can you ready for a pocket <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, it means that you I... got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Ken needs a whole table for what his pocket. What in the world is that? Tell us. Okay, I'll let you get all the stuff out, and then you can. Parker Jr. Then you can explain <laughs> it for the people. Parker Senior. Parker Senior. 
my camera is looking a little weird today in the I hope it's not on the video. My goodness. <laughs> I gotta go grab the backpack. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's a good thing we're filming in 169 here, folks. <laughs> Alright, walk us through. So this is uh, made by Rich Made Knives out of Arena, Colorado. That's it's called the Ratchet. Um, it didn't come in this color. I had the guys in, in the custom shop go ahead and put the red color away on it. Yeah, very cool. Next one, obviously, Chris Reese. I think I was there when you bought that in that old shop. Yeah. Yep. It's been it's been a little bit. That is super cool. And the Microtech Exocet. Mm-hmm. The, the bounty hunter. Spider Coat Polywog. Yeah. That is cool. And then this one is the Spider Coat C84. Yeah. And it's actually designed by Warren Thomas. Yeah. I have his Rhino. And we have the Protec Magic Whiskers. Yep. And then the Spartan Hersey Fold Arm Warthog Edition. Man, I'm loving some Spartan Hersey Folders these days. That's yeah. very cool. Cool collection. Oh, I love the Whiskers too. I just realized that's what you said that was. That well, was super cool. one and only Protec. Nice little bolster lock. It is super cool. Yeah. It's fun to hand the people say, here, open this knife. I know. <laughs> I think I think Evan did that to me, actually. <laughs> I've had people do that to me a number of times. Well, thanks, Ken. You're Appreciate welcome. Appreciate it, buddy. Hey, this is John. He's going to he's gonna do a pocket dump for us, too. So I've got a... What's he got today? Protec. Camillus. Nice. That's cool. Enderer XM18 3.5, Jimmy oh, Slicer. That is, that is pretty. I like that. Uh, and uh, Spartan Hearty Folder. I have that exact knife, my friend. That's yep. Awesome. And then my uh, my Savivi. I'm not even sure what it is. <laughs> <laughs> But it uh oh, is that like the mini elemental? Mini element probably, yeah. I think that's what that is. That's sweet, dude. Yeah. That's very cool. So. It is the size comparison there. Yep. Is uh is pretty drastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wide range of uh yes. choices, a uh, little so you're good for everything. I do that a lot too. Like I so. usually have two on me and then a couple in my backpack and they're all a little yep. bit different. So, so nice yeah. man, thank you very much. Right, thank you. All right, hey, I'm here with my friends Patrick and Gabriel. Hi, Gabriel. Hi. <laughs> what you got today, Patrick? Um, I am on the poverty train today. This hey, is a right. uh, Leatherman bolster. Heck yeah. Not too, uh, not too fancy. That's Just, okay. It's a beater, but it works. I carry a Leatherman with me wherever I go. You have to really. Usually in my backpack. My Zebra light, SC2. That's my everyday carry flashlight. Nice. And then I've got uh, the pocket gravel that everyone seems to lament, but it, it works for me. O light pin. Nice. Carry a flash drive with some information on it. There you go. Got a uh, lighter, bobby pin, ranger nice. band wrapped around that. Hey man, this is an EDC drop for you. Always Sweet. carry some chapstick. Yep. Me too. It's sitting in my car. <laughs> for sure. It's usually melty. A little Gerber <laughs> dime. Nice. Those things are nice. I'm down. Uh, always carry some quarters with me too. Okay. So that's that's really <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's the pocket that's dump. That's a true EDC pocket dump right there. Very Plus simple. the popcorn. Gabriel's popcorn. Obviously popcorn. Don't don't put that in your pocket though. Hey, thanks man. That was awesome. <laughs>
what's your name, man? My name is Rick Williams. Rick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Lyle from Buck's Gearbox. And, uh, right on. Tell us about your collection, man. Um, Anything you want to tell us? <laughs> I'm an automotive technician, and I abuse the crap out of all my knives. Sweet. And I'm not afraid to abuse any of them, except for maybe these the, yeah, three. Yeah, two precious items. Yep. Other than that, all of these have been abuse. Awesome. And I treat them all as tools, and I tried to bring Almost every one that I've bought here at Red. Yeah. I think of the 46. What's some of your favorites? Maybe like these. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> this is my absolute favorite. All right. Pocket belt. Yep. Microtech awesome. LUDT. Yes. Took me a while to find this one. Yep. They're hard to find. Um, my dad the got The geometry me. on the edge is why I like yep. it. Yep. And I, fantastic. I use it at work every day. I cut drive belts, coolant hoses. It's my favorite Microtech. Don't tell Microtech I said that, but. I want to see. Is, is my favorite. I want to see their manual stitch because I like this so oh, much. That is you awesome. know, his son's yeah. Yeah. The Heretic Medusa. Yeah. So I really, really want to see a manual stitch and see how it feels. It yeah, might be the LUDT, but the yeah. LUDT is well. The probably switches my favorite. Mean, man, they're so they're so cool. Well, dude, thanks for showing us your oh, collection. Hey, no problem. That's awesome, man. We got Caveman EDC in the house today. So you want to show us around a little bit? Uh, sure. Your favorite highlights? So this is pretty much what I started with, but these are my lower budget knives, sure. which I still love and carry. Hey, I'm a, I really, I'm a big fan of budget knives. Really love my Demcos. Those are sweet. A lot. Yep. I got a lot of Demcos. These are OG scales, super inexpensive. That's awesome. Uh, I love Sheepdog a lot. Yeah. Got a whole row of damn designs back there. Okay. I mostly like the Oni and the Gen. Yeah, yeah. Which is, oh, this one's customized. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, that's some brass stuff, and then specializing in brass. Yeah, I didn't do any of this, but my buddy in Georgia did it, Mr. Joe Bank. Okay. Real cheap. Have to check that out. Patches. I love the patches. Those are sweet, dude. Very cool. Very well made. Like I said, kind of. You are a Chavez man. Ninety-five Chavez and something obscene. Ninety-five percent of those were done by Chris Burns. Okay. The rest are random. This is done by Fanatic Edge. Uh, this one is done by Fanatic Edge. That is new. I'm a big Star Wars geek, so. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's speaking to me. It says Rebels Blast them. Let me focus. That's awesome. And then these aren't the droids we're looking for. That's <laughs> sweet. And this one kind of sleeps on people, but this is one Chris did. It's Beskar. Oh my goodness, no way. It's a tack that he put a, a zirconium thumb stud on. That is fantastic. Yeah, this one actually won in, uh, he runs mystery boxes. Oh, okay, okay. Buy a spot. You got a Grogu B. Sweet collection. Uh, yeah. Bounty Hunter was also was also done by uh, Serpents Run Customs. Okay. Pretty cool. Very Usually cool. not much for Seraphim. Okay. Not against it. Sure, sure. That's a sweet collection. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing me. Appreciate it. What's your name? Jesse. Jesse. Nice to meet you. I'm Lyle. You guys? What's that? Joseph. I'm Henry. Henry, nice to meet you. Caveman EDC. Caveman EDC, check him out. Yeah. Show him the I told him he's our top. Yeah. Pocket dump. Dude. That's legit. What is it? It's a Stetson. Stetson. Very cool. I love those scales. Yeah. 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 What you got, Joe? What you got, man? Uh, uh, bitch made bug out. Bitch made bug out. I'm a big hiker, so I'm, I'm a big fan of the lightweight knives. Same guy that lasered all that, lasered that. That is fantastic. My goodness. Some cool stuff, fellas. Wow. Stetson, uh, this is the mini tank yep. with a walrus tusk bead. I love that bead. That is so cool. Man, it's great to meet you guys. Chris Reeve, nice. small Sabenzas. Um, all those are the... Uh, um, 
Damascus steel. Beautiful. And these are the large and benzes. Yep. Um, That's the rec exclusive. Rec exclusive. Um, this is a 21. Nice. This this becomes a daily carry when I'm not carrying my Spartan. Okay. So then we have the zero tolerance. Nice use of the Chris Reeves microfiber there. Yeah. <laughs> Keep things safe. Yep. Uh, this one was customized here, anodized, and then engraved. That's gorgeous. Yeah. They did a really nice job on that. Yeah, that's awesome. And then uh, put different scales on this uh, 393 here. Mm -hmm. And then got the the Harsey folders. Oh my goodness. Um, got, a lot, got a lot of parts customized on this one here. Okay. They did all the anodization, or mm -hmm. I'm sorry, they did the Cerakote on the all the hardware. Okay. And actually on the skull too. See the skull? Oh yeah, that's sweet. Yeah. I would have known that it was there because it yep. blends in so well. Blends that's in, but cool. the, uh, I changed the blade and changed all the hardware, blacked it all out. Those and these are, are fantastic. these are the the 2022 versions. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Yeah, love it. Love it. And that's yours. Oh, yeah, that's mine. <laughs> and these are I'm getting a tour here. These are Benchmade. These are <laughs> actually came from my grandfather. Yep. Anytime he would buy a tractor, they would give him a, a knife. Oh my goodness, that is super cool. So this is from the 60s. Wow. Yep. So he bought a couple tractors and so. <laughs> um, let's see, Benchmade, and then I also have more Benchmade over here, the bug outs. Mm -hmm. um, this one with the death grip scales here and here. Okay, I'm going to have to look up death grip scales. Uh, they're on Instagram, they just Instagram. do a great right. job. That's fantastic. So. Love it, man. Very cool. Those are them. Nice. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. John, REC. Appreciate it. All right, Nash, tell me, uh, tell me what you got here. What, what's so, going on? Um, back in high school, I started making knives. Yeah. Um, took a little bit of a hiatus mm -hmm. uh, through college. You know, it's kind of hard to make knives in a dorm room. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I can imagine. So um, I think it's hard to make knives in a shop. So. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Um, this one I made just shortly before I graduated high school. It's yes. a. Uh, it was meant to be a tanto, but I burnt the tip off Dude, in I my did the forge. Same thing. That's yeah. Awesome. Um, I burnt and, mine off on the grinder. Just yeah. Didn't realize how quickly you can melt steel. Exactly. <laughs> and then I uh, I made the burlap micarta, um, and it's just a nice chopper for when you're yeah. out and camping and you know trying to make uh, spring traps out yeah. of like saplings and stuff. Nice. Um, so I made this back then. That's beefy. Um, and then during quarantine this was my project. It's it's still ongoing. Yep. Um, but I wanted to kind of do a, uh, a mixture of traditional and uh, modern. Um, so I'm trying really to cool. you know it's a very uh, very modern version of a tanto yeah. edge. Yeah. Um, and then eventually, I'm, once I get the, the metal components for the handle, I'll, I'd like to do them in titanium. Sweet. So, like, oh, just yeah. add that extra level of, uh, of modern uh, modernism to it. That is so very cool. And then this one is a recent project of mine. Um, I found this hatchet head and uh, decided to reprofile it and restore it a little bit. And then I made this handle out of a... Uh, a board of cherry yeah um, so it's got three choke points you've got your your low choke point for a lot of leverage you've got your middle choke point for if you're getting a little bit finer and then the the high choke point for if you're really getting yep. in and making kindling and That's stuff sweet, like that man. and then I got my oh, REC custom shop Captain America Red Skull Chavez That's so fantastic. really oh, smooth goodness. tuned it up really well yeah it's a, it's a nice showpiece. I yeah, love that, it. That's a, that's an instant collector's piece right there. Exactly. That's super cool. I love it. Dude, thanks for showing me that yeah. stuff. Appreciate thanks, it, man. Appreciate Absolutely.
Hey, back again. Thank you so much for hanging out with me uh, during this video. Thank you to everyone who uh, let me film their collections and talk to them and get them to dump their pockets out at River's Edge Cutlery. Thanks to the, the guys at River's Edge uh, for letting me come in with my camera. And uh, that was just an awesome day. Uh, it was great to meet so many of you. Thank you for hanging out this long in the video. If you watched it all the way to the end, I appreciate that. And once again, I'm very sorry about the weird uh, issue with the camera. I'm learning. Uh, I'll, it'll be better next time. I think I've got it all figured out. So, so yeah, that was an awesome day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate y'all. And uh, there'll be more on the way. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.